my mother is in heaven and she deserves to pass through those pearly gates with easy pace for all the times that she took me to Kings County Hospital when I needed stitches as a young boy. The first time I re can remember was I was trying to impress my eight-year-old peers by jumping off this high stoop and I leapt and my knee hit my jaw and I bit my tongue and after I landed I could taste the blood in my mouth and I pointed it to my companions and we formed a delegation up to Nostrand Avenue where I lived and black and white chip tile. I rang my doorbell. There were only two. And the standard operating procedure was to step outside and wait for the kitchen window over the fire, fire escape to open. Mom would stick her head outside to survey the situation. And I pointed, and I had a Greek chorus. He bit his tongue and it's bleeding. I can still see the weary look on my mother's face. Nick, move into the mic. As she, I can still see the weary look on my mother's face as she went inside, closed the window. Down she came with the pocketbook. <coughs> Took me in a cab to Kings County Hospital. It seemed the only time I ever rode in a cab was going to Kings County Hospital. <laughs> the next time I needed stitches, I was over at the Cooper Schmitz. They lived around the corner on Ostrin Avenue, and they had a religious store in front, and they lived in the back. They sold statues, rosaries, crosses. There was a large uh, uh, Roman Catholic church, St. Francis of Assisi on Lincoln Road. And they even had a very large picture of Jesus with a crown of thorns. And when you'd walk by, the eyes would follow you. And I could swear I could hear guilty. <laughs> but I was in the backyard playing marbles with Walter and my younger brother, Michael. And they had the metal frame of a hammock. And Michael pressed down on one end, which seesawed the other end up. And then he let it go. And my head was in the way. Bam! Mrs. Cooperschmidt had me take off my T-shirt to stem the blood. I think you should go and see your mother. Ma, I'm bleeding. I mean, even a simple thing of retrieving a Spalding from underneath the truck had consequences when you don't clear the undercarriage. Boom, oh, blood. Time to see mom. Uh, we used to play stickball on Midwood Street. Home plate would be one manhole cover. Second base would be the manhole cover, about 150 feet away. First and third would be the front tires of two cars parked somewhat parallel on that narrow street. And I went for a grounder as a bicycle was going by. <laughs> and he hit me. He spun up in the air. When I stood up, he got on his bike and just went his merry way. Oh. My friend Tommy said, you know, you have tire tracks on your face. <laughs> I had blood. Time to see mom. I mean, I didn't even have to be an active participant to get hurt. I remember outside of newly constructed George W. Wingate High School on Brooklyn Avenue, I was watching a baseball game. I was 25 feet away from the batter when he swung and missed and let go of the bat <laughs> and hit me right over the eye. I had a gash. The parkie had me sit down, lie down in the locker with a cold compress. They got my mother for me. <laughs> and we rode the ambulance. And Kings County was just across the street. The last time I needed stitches was I had bought a set of Dan Laurie weights. Maybe I should have foreshadow because they gave you one barbell, but two dumbbells. And we had a landing right outside the apartment because it was too tight inside to play with the weights. And I had the weights behind me as I was stepping on and off a milk crate. 
something for my calves. And I slipped and I hit myself right in the head. Oh. And I turned around and knocked on the door. Ma, I'm bleeding. So dear Lord in heaven, for all the times that mom took me to Kings County Hospital and waited with me for an eternity to get stitched up, please give her the keys to the kingdom. <laughs> Let her have angel wings first class. Let her have the sweetest harp to play music with. Oh mother, who art in heaven, your son loves you. <laughs>